Today I'm going to make chicken curry. Um, I'm sure in your store cupboard uh, you've got maybe a jar of curry sauce and the way most people make it now is like a stir fry. Throw in the sauce and everything's ready in no time at all. Those jars of sauces will soon run out if you're all at home. So this is my take on chicken curry. And I'm making it for two people. I've no basic... Well, this is my basic ingredients. There's no recipe as such. So I've got uh, half a chopped onion here. It was a large onion. I chopped it finely. I have two chicken fillets, which I have chopped finely. I am going to use a cup of rice later. I have got uh, about a quarter of a packet of cream coconut. I've got some lazy garlic paste. I am going to use one chicken stock cube. I'm going to use a teaspoonful of turmeric and I'm going to use a good heap teaspoonful of medium curry powder. So what I'm going to do to start off, I'm going to make, I've got melted some fat here, I suppose roughly two ounces, and I'm going to add the onion to that and let it uh, sweat out and soften in the margarine. So I've let the um, onion and the margarine sweat, the onion's cooked through there, I'm just adding a dollop, whatever your taste might be, of garlic paste. And I'm going to add the spe So I've got turmeric and I've uh, medium curry powder in it. So what you need to do is let them cook out here to draw out the curry flavour. So this gives you more flavour rather than just making the sauce and throwing in the curry powder to the sauce. You need to uh, cook the curry powder out just as you do the onion to draw out the flavour. While that is cooking out there nice and slow, I have taken the chicken fillets and I have coated them in um, flour with some salt and black pepper on it. And I, coat, I always coat them in flour, it's not really necessary, but I think that it keeps the each cube in shape while it's cooking. So whenever this is all um, cooked out, I'm going to add some flour and make it into like a roux. So that's a, a cooking out. Now you do need to cook, I uh, put the flour in, you do need to cook it out and don't put too much flour in. So roughly for a roux, it's equal quantities of fat and flour. So two ounces of margarine or butter or whatever you're using and two ounces of plain flour and just let it cook out for a couple of minutes again uh, to cook out that starchy flavour that you might get. Uh, and then once this is cooked out, I'm going to add the liquid. So I've got my stock cube. I have made up this here. This is the coconut milk. And I have dissolved it in boiling water. So it just looks nearly like ordinary milk. So I, in a second or two, I'm going to add that to my roux. And I'm going to add a chicken stock cube as well. So after I added the uh, coconut milk, I've added um, a stock cube and another half pint of water. So I've a pint of liquid roughly in that at the minute. Now you need to stay with this. If you leave your saucepan, what could happen is that it may stick to the saucepan. So this first stage of all these ingredients coming together is actually the most important stage. I like to make this basic sauce fairly thick because what happens, I'll throw in the chicken in a wee minute and it'll look fairly thick. But as the chicken cooks, the juices run out, come out of the chicken into the sauce and the sauce will get thinner. So if I think this is still a wee bit thick, I'll add another wee bit of water. But nearly you're better waiting until the end. Now normally what I do at this stage, I'd add in a grated carrot or something like that as well. But because of our current circumstances, I actually don't have a grated carrot. So I'm going to have to do without. And I normally add that all at this stage too or any other vegetable that you like in it it doesn't have to be carrot it can be anything at all um, but it's another way of getting vegetables into the kids this does look a wee bit thick to me so I'm going to add another tiny wee bit of liquid now I've put the chicken in and just basically what I'm going to do I'm going to keep stirring it to the chicken is coated with the sauce normally at this stage just before I put it uh, into the oven 
I would usually put in mango chutney as well and it just makes it that wee bit spicier. Again, I don't have any, so it's not essential. So you can adjust this, add, take away whatever you feel you have in your cupboard or that you like yourself. So that's it ready to um, go into the oven. So I've set the oven at uh, 180 and I'm going to put it in for about three quarters of an hour. So uh, the curry sauce and the chicken are in the oven. The next thing to do is just the rice. Now I won't start cooking it until uh, about 15 or 20 minutes before the chicken's uh, due to come out of the oven. So all that I've done for two people, I've taken one mug of long grain rice and I have rinsed it under the cold tap. So what I'll do is I'll put some boiling water, boiling salted water into this saucepan here, add the rice to it and let it boil for 10 to 15 minutes. And again, you'll know when it's ready, when you check a grain of rice and uh, roll it in between your finger and thumb and if it's soft, it's ready. Uh, I normally would rinse mine in a colander with uh, some boiling water just to take most of the starch out of it. So this will all be ready in about 20, about three quarters of an hour and whenever it's ready I'll show you what it's like. 